hello friends in this video i am going to explain and show you about the send notification in pega so i have a very simple case type uh, this case type is having three stages after capturing the claim details uh, i want to send one notification to some list of operators i want to send one notification to list of operators those are nothing but recipients okay so how do you send a notification in pega okay so you no need to create any activity and you no need to do any extra from your end because pega is providing a uh, one default automation shape to send a notification in pega okay so now i'm going to add one step so more so automation because there is no manual interaction it's automatically send a notification to the list of recipients or the list of people to whom you want to send a notification so now here uh, there is a send notification remember this send not push notification here there is a one more uh, uh, automation shape call it as a send notification select okay so what is the source or input for this send notification if you want send a notification to the recipients based on the notification channels configured based on the notification channels configured so what type of channel you are using what type of channel you are using to send a notification are you using a mobile or email or web gadget web gadget so here here what i am doing is uh, okay as usually this is a message compose and email this is see this one create a new or use existing one create a new or use existing one so now what i am doing here is use existing use existing now this is uh, send claim notification this is my notification rule i am going to create a, one new or if you want you can use existing one we have a some uh, notification rules which are already created for a different messages different notifications either if you want you can use that which is suitable for you or else you can create a new one or else you can create a new one send a claim notification okay so what i am doing is just click on create here or else if you want to create explicitly uh go to the records go to the process here there is an option call it as a notification you can use that one your wish now i am going to create one new send claim notification under the same insurance claim under the same rule set version click on create and open now here by default uh, there are three tabs mainly notification definition and channels and advanced here we have to focus on mainly these three channels the first one is a message details and the second one is the recipients message details so what notification message you want to send to the recipients what notification message you want to send a notification sorry you want to send to the recipients you have to configure that so by default py notification message is a ootb message rule py notification message is the ootb message rule which is nothing but a field value open this field value okay so here dollar this is the parameterized notification this is a parameterized field value uh, see here notification name is send claim notification send a claim notification by default okay now see your requirement is you want to send a notification okay with your customized message because if this is not suited for you what you have to do obviously you have to save as into your rule set version with same name your wish with same name or else you can create your own field value rule you can create your own field value rule not a problem so now what i am going to do uh, captured claim details successfully please verify okay that's it what is the notification this is the parameter name if you want to add any n number of parameters also you can add it it's not a 
problem based on your dynamic message based on your dynamic message just click on save and check in so you have overridden the existing notification message field value blah 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 or else you can create your own message rule you can create your own message rule uh, some claim message etc and you can create your own field value rule that is your wish not a problem now after that next one is um, here the notification name is a parameter to this message rule right i am using this send claim notification if you want you can customize it also now next option is recipients next uh, next option is recipients to whom you want to send a notification to whom you want to send a notification message here use current page context use data page use page list or group etc you can choose you can choose any one of these context so preferably choose the data page so what is the data page first of all uh, you have to identify the list of recipients to whom you want to send a notification now my requirement is i want to send this notification to all my team members or all my uh, all my team members having the same work group or i want to send a notification to the list of operators under the same work group so to fetch those list of operators under the same work group there is a one ovotb activity d underscore py team d underscore py team members in my work group so what is the if you want you can open this data page this is the ovotb one so what is the parameters for this uh, work group name so what i am doing is uh, i am passing this parameters uh, my current work group name is uh, default at the rate of sbi open uh, my operator record what is the work okay default at the rate sbi now if you want uh, you can run this data page also individually or manually so you can see the list of operators under the default at the rate sbi uh, flush all so how many list of operators under the same work group total px result count is 13 so how many people 13 people if you want just expand px results okay 1 2 3 okay what is the second one okay data admin operator id py label reviewer py user identifier is reviewer py username is reviewer and uh, who is next admin one username etc like this approver etc now to these 13 people i want to send a notification so for that come back to your notification rule okay what is this default at the rate of sbi i am just hard coding if you want you can provide it as a parameter or you can provide it as a property value to set this value dynamically instead of hard coding this okay uh, now the recipient type is either email id or operator id because ultimately the data page is having the results having the py user identifier so which is nothing but a operator id so here recipient type is not email operator id so dot py user identifier okay that's it okay now just click on save now you have select you have configured the notification message details and risk to whom you want to send a notification or else see this one if you want you can customize this one also my notification or insurance insurance claim notification your wish just click on create click on create remember this it is a py notification message hi claim details captured successfully okay please verify or if you want you can dynamically pass it also okay to who uh, what is the claim amount uh, etc 
okay uh, one second let me see the what are the dynamic values if you want to okay for example loan amount right our first name okay i want to save it as a hi uh, claim details uh, uh, submitted submitted successfully by what is this one first name parameter okay just click on save now here also uh, come back to your notification rule here right what is the parameter first name right so insurance claim notification first name dot first name i am sending this value check out so just for your uh, understanding purpose uh, dynamically sending a notification message dynamic values channels see channel configuration how you are going to which channel you are going to use to send a notification i am using web gadget as well as mobile as well as email okay so all are by default enable all are by default see enable enable web gadget uh, i will talk about this uh, after few minutes default preference enable next one is mobile enable a push notification uh, message details py notification message notification name is send claim notification so see here if you want you can use the different one if you want you can use the different notification message here and enable email if you want to send here py notification message subject correspondence template by default instance means immediately instance means immediately not there is no delay in sending a there is no delay in sending an email so you are going to send a notification by using these three channels by, by by default all these three are enabled by default all these three are enabled okay next one is advanced so by default if you want to categorize the notifications also you can categorize this is insurance claim notifications car loan car loan notifications etc okay home loan notifications etc you can create a category for example if you can open this one by default this is a category by default uh, categories by default default one if you want you can create a separate category as well you can create a separate category as well so mute notification are not configurable from ui so mute notification means if you want to stop uh, sending a notifications and not configurable from ui means uh, okay i'll tell you this one as well okay so uh, additional configuration details that will be stored explicitly and used for a message enrichment across the channels in addition to that if you want to send any key value pairs in addition to the existing message you can add those values as well okay uh, just click on save and check in okay now my notification is ready just come back to insurance claim send a claim notification just click on save and if you want you can open the process see the okay see send notification this is the smart shape which is already available in pega automation send notification etc okay now run this insurance claim just click on save and run so i am just giving uh, i am just giving the name is here ramesh so what is the property map to this field i am not sure what happened okay something but uh, since this is a my personal edition right uh, i am just give map to this this first name value map to different property 
Yeah, not a problem. Okay. Okay. I'm just giving because it is not accepting text. I'm just giving number. Now click on submit. So now notification has been sent. If you want to verify, because see, I am the sender, so I cannot receive the same notification. I am the sender because my operator ID is also under the same work group, but I am the sender, right? So I cannot receive the notification. If you want, you can launch the portal, user portal. See, this is the notification icon. So what I am doing is now, you can log in with the separate operator. Whether he can receive the notification or not, we will see. Because you can, out of 13 operators, you can log in with any one of the operator ID, whether those people are able to receive the notification or not. Okay. Uh, rules. User portal. See this one. Uh, one notification message received by that particular operator admin 56. So what is that message? Hi, claim details submitted successfully by this is the dynamic one, right? We captured the first name. Please verify one minute ago. See, this is the case ID. What is this section? If you keenly observe when you click on this notification, see there is a section. So there is a section, right? So now whatever the section we have seen, we have seen right now, right? This is the, the nothing but, and let me log off. Uh, let me log off because I just want to show you whether the other operators also review, uh, received or not. Uh, approver rules, one, two, three, let's see. Okay, I forgot operator ID over. Let's see whether this guy has been received the notification or not, because he is also under the same work group default at the rate of SBI. Yeah, directly he is uh, uh, launching the user portal. See this one. Oh, this guy is having eight notifications, but okay, let's see. I claim details submitted successfully by three minutes ago. I hope. Uh, uh, so I think you successfully, we successfully received the notification message details, right? So the similarly, uh, you can send whatever the recipients you want. So by based on that, uh, based on that data page configuration, based on that data page configuration, Okay, now let's come back to your notification rule. What is our notification rule? Go to records, process, and notification. Send claim notification. So here, channels, right? Enable a web gadget, right? Display section, PY show notification default. This is the notification to display section. This is the notification display section. If you want, you can customize this as well. Uh, let's see. So work dash py show notification default theme cosmos. This is the notifications. When we click on that bell icon, right? Uh, list of notifications are getting displayed, right? That is this section. Okay. So enable web gadget display section. 
this is different with the notification message this is different with the notification message but when you come back to mobile right this is the notification message this is the notification message so if you want to push a notification over the mobile through the mobile that message is different here see this one py notification message if you want to change it you can change it this as well capture this uh, when you send a message when you send a notification to the mobile so this message will be sent to the notification mobile notifications not this one not this one understand because this is the message now similarly uh, coming to email also coming to email also if you want to send a notification over the email right this is the subject okay this is the subject uh, and uh, what is the correspondence template py notification email template PY notification email template. This is the correspondence template. In this template, they have included this one. See, this is the correspondence template. Just a case ID has received a notification, etc. Correspondence template. This is the subject and this is the correspondence template means nothing but a message. Correspondence template is nothing but a message. But in the email subject is this one. So if you want to customize it also, you can also customize uh, as per your requirement. And uh, see sometimes uh, uh, let's launch the portal launch the portal so sometimes if the people are not receiving the notifications also there could be some reasons there could be some reasons here when you click on admin notification preferences notification preferences if you want to uh, i mean if you want to uh, enable or disable the notification preferences also see this one uh, general notifications gadget if you don't want to receive the notifications um, comments on profile comments on private to me etc also uh, you can you can uh, th these are the preferences to the operator right uh, if you don't want to receive any notification from the insurance claim so claim notification if you don't want to receive just like this just like this then click on submit similarly you can customize it for other case types as well as for other options also because someone is commented on your so and so comments on that mention me so if you want to disable that you can disable it instance mint em email is instant mint immediately sending an email there is no delay there is no delay if you want to disable also you can disable it okay this is the notification preferences sometimes you have to check this one as well if you are uh, whether if you are not able to receive the notifications or if you are receiving the notifications i'll do one thing click on cancel see this one there is an option in the advanced right uh, not configurable uh, from ui right check out save launch the portal again user portal notification preferences uh, anyhow because the user portal is only for the users so here since i am the administrator right i can have both the access right so i am just uh, opening the notification preferences come down here see this one where is that there is no option right if you, if you can see this one not configurable from ui because i am not providing an option to control to manage the send claim notification on the uh, notification preferences i hope you understand the purpose of this configuration mute notification also so that uh, you won't receive this uh, these notifications uh, people won't receive this notification this send claim notifications okay uh, okay the first then we have to understand the internal concept behind this one so when you use the smart shape notification send a notification ultimately that smart shape won't do anything ultimately there is a internally some OOTB activities are executing what is that activity px notify px notify is the OOTB activity uh, internally this activity will be executed to send a notification open this activity px notify what this activity will do let's see what this activity will do so ultimately this activity is also 
using q for processing that means um, it will push an entry or it will queue an entry it will queue one a notification entry by using this queue for processing so there is a one ootb queue processor which will process this queue items which will process this queue items so now go to the uh, admin studio so if you want you can verify the logic what is happening internally also in that uh, px notify activity so click on queue processors see this one px py process notification system queue notification sometimes please check whether this uh, queue processor is running or not also huh? this queue processor is running or not processed in the last the process in last hour is a three so three items were processed there is no broken items so now i'll do one thing i'll do one thing go to dev studio let me process one more notification so case types uh, insurance claim right save and run Okay, just give it as uh, first name is 9999 submit. Okay, then immediately PX notify activity will push an entry into the queue for processing. Queue for processing. If you want to expand, see type of queue is dedicated. Queue processor name is PY process notification. So immediately go to the admin studio whether this PY process notification refresh py process notification is a process in last hour is four that's it okay so now if you want you can verify this logic also what is happening internally what is going on what this px notify activity is doing right and uh, <coughs> there would be some restrictions also on the messages length so all these things you can look into this px uh, notify activity um, so start length of the notification queue item dot py message okay validate prepared message length just for example i am telling you okay notification message length uh, exceeded the maximum value what is that value you can check on this conditions you can check on this conditions um, local dot message limit uh, what is this local dot message size limit local dot px get column size pega notification py messages so get column size so this is the one OOTB function to get a column size from this class and this property see the beauty of the pega okay uh, what this function will do this function will returns the length of the column of the pega notification table what was the class if you want to see the java code so com dot run utilities get public api cd get table take get a table name get a db name get database get a columns for this table okay and it has length column dot get length so even java also see we, we can find out the length of the particular column. We can find out the length of the particular column. Nothing is magic. Just only exploring and debugging. That's it. Even I too don't know. Even really I too don't know. When I am, if there is a such a requirement, what shall we do? Just always problem, always requirement. Then only things will be invented, discovered and found everything. I'm always believe this statement see there is no covid vaccine earlier only covid disease is there now covid vaccine is there always that's why problem next solution look for a problem look for a problem okay now see how to find the length of the how to find the column uh, length column length in java ultimately this is a java right get length 2 drs uh, 
deep database table column length in java see this one get metadata internally okay something so ultimately this function will return the column length okay rs metadata get precision of three column size the size of the third column is 11 etc Sim similarly here also they are connecting to the database and getting the column size so if the column size is 255 characters and you are giving the message is more than that immediately will get an error message definitely okay mm, just for understanding purpose i'm explaining uh, next method property set notification queue item uh, notification queue item so recipients length user identifier who created all these things okay property set call validate setting the status of the validation property etc call pz call notification action then immediately once the notification instance is ready then it will send for a queue for processing okay it will send for a queue for processing what is the class name pega notification right they mentioned uh, pega notification sysadmin class pega notification do the test connectivity to find out the table know the principle just know the principles test connectivity data pc work notification so from this table okay if you want to see also click on pega notifications see uh, this is the notification id send claim notification send claim notification default okay etc create operator etc if you want to see that as well because all the notifications are saving in this just open this instance and you can find out the complete notification details ultimately all these notifications which are showing here which are showing here is saving into this table because hope oh, come back here px notify okay uh, see this is the notification one case in, internally one instance got created for this notification as well uh, what is the queue processor py process notification right open this py process notification the queue processor will process the queue items right no, no notification queue items okay uh, what is the internal activity pz process notification see this one internal activity pz process notification what is this notification page pega notification see this one notification page pega notification ultimately these notification details are saving internally call save okay rollback etc pz log notification message details log error message if unable to save a notification message etc so this queue processor is processing the notification ultimately saving the notification into the database and generate id call generate id means generating each and every notification id for each and every notification it will generate a one unique id okay so in this way in this way pega is sending a notification to the end user but ultimately the intern internal technology behind this one is okay this is just for sending the notification but uh, how this automatically because you know right in the this is a bell symbol right if some, someone suddenly send a notification you no need to refresh it you no need to refresh it automatically the count will be increased by using this web socket technology by using the web socket technology but you no need to go 
into that level depth it's not a problem if you want to see that also what is happening if you open this section etc so what is the javascript internally how it is working how it is internally refreshing that messages all these things by using the websocket technology i hope you understand